Hello everybody. I wanted to talk about posture today. A couple decades ago, well, probably about 15, almost 20 years ago, I began an intense uh, regimen of massage, going to massage, uh, sports massage places, to work out some tensions that I realized I'd had and uh, learning how to take care of that on my own as well, in the shoulders, the neck, the jaw. Uh, Areas of the legs, the hips, the arms. I'm a very, very loose, upright, uh, very aligned individual today. I broke a lot of tension going through that period of time. Several years after I began that period of time, around the mid-aughts, I started studying the Alexander Technique and got fairly good at it. And I still maintain some of those practices to this day. I've realized the problem that I had, I realized back then, was I had intense anxieties over some things. Uh, Sometimes over things I I wasn't aware of. And and I knew I needed to break some of that tension and adjust my alignment. I also did yoga. Yoga is not really for me. It's not something I think is... I think yoga can worsen problems. I haven't worked that one out in my head as of yet, so I'll bookmark that. But what I've uh, also come to realize is that uh, these postural problems are what amount to uh, one of the main causes, I believe, of a lot of anxiety that occurs today and a lot of misfire in the brain, a lot of depression, a lot of thoughts and that uh, people are having that very are not very productive, that are actually counterproductive, if you know what I mean. And I have a, a family member who's just moved close by to my wife and myself. And she has a child, and the child is about a year and, I don't know, eight months or something like that. The child was a little bit late in beginning to talk. And so... The mom took it, took the babe, took the child to a chiropractor, and within a few adjustments, the child was already making progress with that. I noticed that the mom has certain postural alignment problems, even though she is a, an operatic singer. Sloped shoulders, sunken in chest. This could arise from a number of things, but I, I do believe, I'm beginning to understand that some of it is inherited. Some of it is epigenetically, it's like the genome is modifying itself as we go along. And this is an aberration that needs to be nipped in the bud, needs to be corrected. And it's, I think it's one of the things that's causing a lot of the issues that we're seeing nowadays. Now, this mother in question, this relative of mine, had in the initial round of treatments for her child after it was born, treatments that come in a clear cylinder with international unit markings on it, and she realized that the irritation from that was probably what was affecting some of the speech patterns, and some of those irritations were nervous in origin and probably accounting for some of the postural misalignment. I don't know if she went that far with it, but it was recommended to her. That's, that's my take on it, is that those work hand in hand with the postural alignment. So I think that that's a contributing factor. That particular intervention from the uh, medical standpoint is contributing to the postural problems. Those postural problems are being worked into the genome and being shuttled on down through Uh, through the birth canal. And so we have to recognize this and sort of the ship is off course and it just it's going to take a little bit of a nudge to get it back on course but that that's what I believe is happening with that. So my experience with it is I'm a very loose well aligned bouncy even though I'm older person uh, full of endurance capable of working out in a field for periods of time and then also maintaining an intense workout regimen and then doing a lot of 
other work, creative work, intellectual work. And I attribute that. Uh, I didn't have that capacity as much as I do now when I was younger. And I'm, I do believe that a lot of the posture work I've done over the years through the Alexander, through Massage, who release, kind of works its way in from the physical on up to the emotional and the light body realm, help you to get some emotions straightened out and firing properly, keep the neurons firing properly. Challenging the body is also, physically, is also a good thing. Uh, you drive yourself hard against the wheel sometimes and develop the callus and your body, force your body to adapt. And that can be taken too far, of course. But now I'm getting a little off track. These are things I can talk about later on. Anyways, um, just finished up a workout, so I'm going to head out of here right now. It's nice talking to you. You have yourselves a wonderful day.